Hi Kaiju fans, and today I have another unboxing video. Um, this is kind of like a package that's been making me mad lately. Um, the story behind this is that I ordered it about three weeks ago, and it had expedited like three-day shipping from California, so within country. And uh, yeah, three weeks is not three days, and I wasn't actually expecting to get it a lot, like actually delivered to me. I thought I was gonna have to go pick it up from the post office because it got lost in Chicago and then transferred to a carrier I'd never heard of before who then marked it as failed to deliver. And they never actually sent it to me. But I just got home from work at midnight, so my package is sitting on the door, and the tracking history still shows that it is uh, undeliverable as addressed. So DHL e-commerce, 10 out of 10, would not recommend as a carrier. Um, so I'm kind of pissed that UPS transferred it over to them after they lost the package, and so, you know. But this should be an interesting figure. I've, I've never bought anything like this before. <laughs> I'm just taking a deep plunge here into uh, an unknown world. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it's Godzilla related, but not in the way you might think. Oh, that is legit. Ah, uh, light. There we go. It is the Rei Ayanami from um, Evangelion holding a Godzilla figure. This is great. <laughs> I don't have like any anime figures like this. This is kind of like the first one. I have like minifigs and like Funko Pops of like anime characters that I think are like cool, like my boy Sasuke, stuff like that. Um, but nothing, nothing like this. No. Uh, no female characters from any anime franchises, so this is um, this is something different for me. I thought it would just be kind of fun to get because Ava's super cool, Ray's a decent character, and um, I saw this at work, and I had fifty bucks in my PayPal, and this was forty, and it was in country, so I was like, dude, I'll get it because my boss pressures me into buying stuff at work all the time. Every Friday, he always pressures me into buying stuff because uh, he has a. Uh, collection addiction as well. Oh, there's a Godzilla on the inside flap. In case you didn't believe me that this was a Godzilla figure. Totally is. I promise. This it's tape and snaps. That's heavy. Wow. <laughs> this is way heavier than I was expecting. Like, it's very top heavy, obviously, because there's more detail up there and stuff. That's so funny. The little Godzilla's adorable. So there should be a stand in here. Yep. Gotta love the Godzilla vs. Evangelion promo stuff. It's some of my favorite merchandise, let's be honest. Still looking at those X plus Kiryu's painted like Unit 1 and 2. I want one so bad. So... This goes in... Like... Not like that. I'll figure this out. There we go. It's only a triangle here, so you can figure it out. That's triple pegged. Boom. I don't know if this is on the ground. No, it's not. Cool. Two new figures in one week. I'm a fan. Which one do you guys like more? <laughs> I know most of you are going to say this, but come on. This is just hilarious. 
You can't not get something as long as it's hilarious. That's so funny. Ray is Ray is not waifu. Oscar is, but this hilarious. This figure's awesome. Is there an Oscar one? I think there is an Oscar one. I might have to get the Oscar one too. I don't know if the Godzilla is any different or not. I'm sure they're probably just literally the same figure with the heads replaced as the different characters, but. There's a lot of detail on the Godzilla for it just being a little tiny thing. God, that's so funny. I don't collect any uh, anything like this, but I feel like Arnez from uh, Super Unimportant would be would be proud of me for getting a anime waifu figure. All right, that's gonna be it. That's just a quick unboxing. I wasn't even expecting to do this. Nothing else coming in until. I'll probably have some figures after this weekend if anyone uh, get gets my gets my drift there. But yeah, catch you guys later. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I appreciate it a lot. As always, liking, commenting, and sharing really helps out my channel. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay up to date on the latest kaiju news and crisp reviews.